Well, well, well. Look who came crawling back. I'm guessing you've already watched the part one of the Get Good series. And you already got good. So now I'm guessing you're coming back to watch the Get Good part two to get more gooders at the game. Just like everybody wants. Now I know you can go watch all those other fancy YouTubers where they make video guides on guns with, like, statistics. And other boring shit nobody fucking cares about. Right? There's no stu- there's, there's definitely no statistics here. You know why? Because I'm not a mathologist and I don't feel like doing statistics. Alright. This is a very important video. Okay, if you follow everything in this video, I guarantee you'll be a god at this game. God will literally make you switch places with him. And be like, yo, you straight up dude, you're too good at this. Uh, I'm going to switch places with you. Uh, have, just have at it. Right? That's, what, that's what's going to fucking happen. So in this series, I'm going to teach you how to be the best at shooting. And I'm, I'm fucking kidding, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to teach you how to not be fucking stupid. I see a lot of you out there doing dumb shit all the fucking time. Like, incredibly dumb. And then you complain about it. And then Crytek nerfs some shit. And then the people who were good with the thing that you didn't like are still good with it. And then you wanted to get nerfed again. And then it just it's just this giant clusterfuck of nothing really happening and you just getting shit on because you're stupid. So let's 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 kick into the video now. I'll show you how to it's part two of the Get Good series. How to not be a fucking idiot. Or stupid. Or the R word that people get offended about. You know, um retarded. That one. So let's let's fucking get into it. Who's there? Yeah, the clue's up there. Oh fuck yes. Oh yeah, wait, just his mate's just below it. Ho ho ho! Did you fucking see that? Step number one, don't go after ladder clues. Why would you? Why? Like, you're, you're totally vulnerable whenever you climb up a ladder, and then you're going up to a clue, which you're going to stand there for a couple seconds with your head not moving. Like, don't, don't fucking do that. That was fucking stupid. Look, you see you what happened? We'll, we'll, we'll replay it. See? Here it is slowed down. See the stupidity? You see him? Big stupid right there. Big fucking stupid. Do you think that guy was happy with his decision? Fuck no, he wasn't. Don't go up ladder clues, ever. Ever. Just don't fucking do it. It's fucking dumb. Oh, they just took... No way. I think they're gonna be taking the cart, or the elevator thing. Oh, please tell me you're standing on there. You are. Killed her. Okay, I'm go. Now, would you... Would you take a gander at that? Was that smart? Fuck no. The, the elevator at... Why? Why makes you... You can't move on it. And if you jump off, you die. Like, what? what no, don't do that. It's fucking stupid. Let's slow it down to highlight the stupidity. Just, just, just look at it. Just... What's your game plan besides dying? You're about to get your cheeks clapped from stupidity. Boom! Headshot! Later, nerd! Alright, so what's the takeaway from this? If you can't figure that out, it's don't use the elevator fort. It's pretty fucking stupid. I mean, why? You have a perfectly good building made out of concrete, or, uh, cinder block. It's probably concrete. Uh, bullets don't like concrete. You know what they do like? Squishy things. You know what are squishy? Humans. What do you need to not have holes in it? Your head. What do bullets do really well? Put holes in things. So instead of, you know, slowly moving at negative Mach 1000 up an elevator because it's outside and cool and shit. Uh, take the fucking stairs inside the brick building. Concrete building. Whatever kind of building it is. There's also another one next to it that has a bridge that goes across. Oh boy, what do we have here? Is that someone walking through deep water? You bet your ass it is, and what happened to them? They caught a serious case of fucking deadness. Now, you have to cross water sometimes, but you shouldn't take the part where he slows you down to fucking nothing. And as you can see, the dude, uh, he, he got brained a little bit. And then I shot his partner, his partner did a cute little jump, 360, 180 thing, and I, I shot him out of the air. That was pretty fucking cool. That was just skill on my part, that wasn't nothing to do with the guy going through the water. But... I digress. Going through water is pretty fucking stupid. Let's slow it down and watch the stupidity at a nice at a nice rate where you can really, really see the extra chromosomes. 
You see this guy? Just not a care in the world. Nonchalantly walking through the swamp like no big deal. Up to his waist in doo-doo water. Guess what? Now he's got an extra hole in his fucking head and his partner's gonna get wasted by me a couple seconds later. So, is deep water stupid? Fuck yeah, it is. Are there any benefits from it? No. What happens when you walk through it? You get slowed down. There's water devils. People shoot you. You look stupid. That fourth part is the main thing, is you look really fucking stupid. And you should feel stupid. Other than that, I just avoid water at all costs anyway. Because there's, like, ducks in there, too. Just wait till they add swans or geese or whatever those mean fuckers are. Then this guy's dude, zombie geese, Crytek. Come on, dude. Fucking hit me up. Send me send me a check. Got, got your back. Zombie geese. Goose? Geese? Swans? Swans are mean, too, right? I don't fucking know. Either way, avoid the fucking deep water, all right? The one in the corner is hit. There's one farther back, right in line with him, in the berms. Dead. Nice. All right, can you figure out what this one's gonna be? This one's a very important one. This one is, uh, it's pretty high up there, and everybody seems to do it. I find myself doing this, too. But, not so much. It's kind of one of those things that really, really dumb people do. Uh, peeking the same corner multiple fucking times. Uh, very dumb. We, I know you're there. Uh, you only have one way to look at me, and you're still gonna pop out. You could, you could, you could, you know, retreat back a little bit. Go get behind a rock that I'm not looking at. But, uh, no, you choose to peek the same corner, and then I shot you in the face with, you know, the Nagat Carbine, which is honestly the best gun in the fucking game. And, uh, yeah. Don't, don't, wait, why? Let's, let's slow it down and review this. Frame by frame, not frame by frame, that'd be way too fucking slow. But let's we'll slow, slow it down, see, let's just check it out. Here he is, thinking he's hot shit, standing out in the middle of nowhere by the corner. What's he gonna do after getting hit? Pop out again. Someone DDoSes my shoelaces and I miss two shots, and then I fucking wig the guy. It was fucking stupid. Why would you pop out in the same spot? So if you can't figure it out, which you probably won't, because most of you guys are, you know, kind of not the brightest, uh, if you pick the same corner, your head's going to be in the same spot. And if you're playing against someone decent, they're going to pick up on that and make your head not exist anymore. So uh, yeah, I'd, I'd advise peeking the same corner over and over again. Or you can do it. I'm not your dad. Do whatever the fuck you want, all right? Oh. Did it come down from up there? Yeah, she's up there. Yep, she just opened up. She's dead. Oh my god. Fucked her up too. So now I know what you're thinking, like, I don't, I don't understand this one. Uh, this one's a pretty simple one. Uh, a lot of people do this. Who aren't stupid. Mostly stupid, though. Uh, cornering yourself. Very stupid idea. Uh, so she went up in that loft and you, you got two ways out of there. Down the ladder or out the window. And by that I mean dead or dead. So, yeah. Not a great idea. Now, all the, all, now, you have these certain people who play this game, uh, they use a gun, it's very unskillful. They're generally not the best players, and they have to resort to zigzagging up to you, or hiding in corners, or basically just being generally bad at the games, because they're called, uh, fuck. <laughs> shotguns. Yeah, all it takes is one shotgunner, and your fucking day is ruined. Right? Especially if you corner yourself. So, uh, I, I, did you, let's, let's break it down. Let's break it down, look at it. Let's, let's, let's see this dingus get fucking wrecked. Alright, this one, this one ain't too hard to break down. So you got, you got two ways out. You see her, she opens the window. She's like, cool, I'm gonna go t uh, sneak a peek, maybe sneak out. I don't fucking know. Uh, you're absolutely wrong. Now you're at the loading screen. Absolutely hating yourself from your stupid decision. So, take away from this video on how not to be stupid. If you don't do these things, it'll increase your chance of survival. No, it's just said increase your chance of survival. Because you're still gonna fucking die. Because no matter about I I'll still find you, and I will still shoot you in the face. Alright? There's gonna, there's gonna be no struggle snuggle there. It's just gonna be, boom, dead. That's what's gonna happen. But other than that, uh, you know, if, you, if you're still stupid enough to do these things, uh, I think that the one thing you can at least uh, take to heart is that you're not a console player. Uh, I've seen I've seen blind people hit pinatas better than those guys can fucking aim, and it's, it's kind of fucking sad. But, you know, whatever. Enjoy the loading screen, nerds.